Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to another video on Goals Galore. Welcome to my Matric 11 predictions for the championship. If you guys go on to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as always. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As usual, of course, um, midweek fixtures this time around. So let's get predicting another week of the championship. Let's begin in South Wales for Cardiff versus Portsmouth. Portsmouth, what a big week it's been for them already, having played QPR last weekend, getting their first championship win of the season. Much needed now uh, for them. And now, of course, they play Cardiff, who just beat Plymouth 5-0 somehow, uh, scoring more goals than they scored in the first nine match weeks of the season in one match week. Incredible stuff. You can't write it, can you? Only in the championship. In this one, though, both sides um, start the game inside the relegation zone. In this one, I see a five-goal thriller, just like last time for Cardiff. But this time, Portsmouth get the win 3-2 away at Cardiff. Up next, we go to Leeds hosting Watford. Now, Watford, it was Derby Day to forget last time away to Luton. As for Leeds, beating uh, Sheffield United, um, who hadn't lost up to that point in the season. Leeds are looking strong now. Um, and I expect them to go on a bit of a run now um, for for a while, like last season where they had that um, streak of victories, of course, and an unbeaten run. In this one, I think it'll be quite straightforward once again for Leeds and they win this one, 3-0. Moving on, we go to Oxford versus Derby. Derby last time out away at the Den against Millwall. They picked up their first away point of the season. As for Oxford, they're, they're leaving it late, aren't they? Especially at the Kassam. But they got a point against West Brom to protect their unbeaten home record so far this season. And in this one, I think it comes under threat, but I don't think they lose it. Oxford 2, Derby 1. Moving on, we go to Deepdale for Preston versus Norwich. It was victory for Preston last time and a draw only for Norwich. In this one, it'll be a very close game. Both sides to score, Norwich to get the win. 2-1 away at Deepdale. Up next, we go to Hillsborough for Sheffield Wednesday versus my team Swansea now. This one will be interesting. The Swans haven't scored, and I think someone says it's like 345 minutes of football, which, uh, yeah, isn't too convincing. The last goal we scored was against Bristol City uh, in the 15th minute. So, yeah, not too great. As for Sheffield Wednesday, of course, um, quite an inconsistent start to the season, but I think they're only one point off the Swans in 13th going into this one. So, it could go either way in this one. A back a draw, 1-1 one, one, oh, at Hillsborough. Next up, we go to Stoke hosting Bristol City. Bristol City, a great win at the weekend against Middlesbrough. As a Stoke, solid point against Norwich. In this one, though, I can see Bristol City getting the win in a 3-1 victory away to Stoke. QPR versus Coventry, two sides who are down there at the moment in the Championship. QPR, I don't know what's going to happen to them at the moment, but... They do need to improve. I, I do feel like they'll be okay this season, but so far it has not been convincing. And exactly the same could be said for Coventry. With that squad, is it finally time for Mark Robbins to move on from Coventry? I mean, it, it feels incredible we're even saying that. Uh, but no, this season just hasn't been great, has he, for Coventry? Um, I'm sure he definitely can turn it around. But you can't just keep saying, oh, he'll turn it around. He's going to actually start to get the performances in and the results going for Coventry. Otherwise, it will be too late for him. In this one, I can see goals galore. Both of them are down there in the table because they concede so many goals. In this one, QPR 4, Coventry 3. Moving on, we go to Hull versus Burnley. Now, Hull had a great game with Sunderland last time out. Unable to get anything from the game, though. As for Burnley... Um, they, of course, they won last time out away to Sheffield Wednesday in this one. They win again and keep on going. Burnley 2, Hull 0. Up next, we go to Blackburn hosting West Brom. West Brom, of course, unable to hang on for the three points away to Oxford last time out. As for Blackburn, it's five home wins in a row uh, this season, which is incredible for them. Really good home record. Uh, to be fair, I don't know how the Swans didn't score against them on Saturday. Bit of a missed opportunity there, but... Uh, it is what it is now, I guess. Uh, in this one, I think Blackburn won. West Brom won. Solid point for either side, uh, but nothing more than that. Up next, we go to Kenilworth Road for Luton Town versus Sunderland. This is actually one of the biggest games of the weekend, in my opinion. Two very, very strong sides who, uh, going into the season, you know, have sort of flipped of where you probably would have expected both of these sides to be. Sunderland taking everyone by surprise. Uh, for a positive way, and Luton have taken everyone to, uh, for surprise in sort of a negative way of how they've sort of started the season. 
Great win on Derby Day for Luton last summer against Watford in a 3-0 win. As for Sunderland, great win against Hull, of course. In this one, I cannot split the sides. 1-1 one, one draw at Kenilworth Road. Really tough game, this one. Moving on, we go to the den for Millwall versus Plymouth in this one. I can only see one winner, to be honest. Of course, Wayne Rooney's men away from home. I think Rooney's manage was at 54 games away from home, and he's only won eight of them. It's a stinking record, and I think that only gets worse here, as Mill will win 2-0 at the den. And up next, the far game to predict is Middlesbrough versus Sheffield United. Sheffield United, their first defeat of the season. As for Middlesbrough, of course, last summer at the weekend, losing 2-0 to Bristol City. In this one, I think they lose 2-0 again. Sheffield United 2, Middlesbrough 0. There we are then. There are my predictions for match week 11 of the championship. Hopefully you guys all did go on to enjoy. If you did, drop a like and subscribe as always. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next one very soon, guys. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.